What can you say about The Lion King? It remains to this day the highest grossing animated Disney film of all time, and is second only to Toy Story 3 as the highest grossing animated film period. It was acclaimed by critics the world over when it was released in 1994, and again when it was re-released last year. It was turned into a Broadway musical that proved to be just as successful and remains one of Disney's finest achievements. It was also a childhood favourite of mine and I still love it to this day. I can't really think of any other film I've seen where I have liked every single character. While it doesn't have my favourite Disney song, that would be A Whole New World, I do love every song, and in my opinion, it is the best set of songs in any animated Disney film. The pacing is great, the visuals are outstanding, it touches on the interesting moral issue about guilt and learning from the past, and it has the balls to show us the death of a non-villain character. There have been some suggestions in the last few years that the film is overrated, and I have re-watched the film many times over the last few years, trying my best to take off my nostalgia goggles and look at it more critically, and I'm sorry, I still love it. Granted, the story is very simplistic, even for a kid's film, and the ending is a bit sloppily written, but for the most part, I still say it's a great film. However, my liking for this film has nothing to do with the idea that the film is based on Hamlet. This is something about the film I've never understood. Basically, the makers of the film claimed at some point after the film's release that it was based on Hamlet. Although, I've heard other reports that partway through the writing process, they just noticed that the story had a lot of similarities to Hamlet, and I guess they just figured, hey, let's just say it's based on Hamlet, that will make people like it. Why does the film being based on Hamlet, or anything else for that matter, make it good? If anything, it makes it less creditable, because the story has been told to death already. We all know it, why would we want to hear it again? That was my main problem with another Disney film, Treasure Planet. It was nothing more than Treasure Island in space. I already know that story, I don't want to hear it again, I know what happens. The only thing about that film that I liked was the stuff that was original, mainly the fact that it was in space. What I loved about The Lion King was that the story wasn't something I'd heard before. So the idea that it's based on Hamlet takes a lot of creditability away from the film as far as I'm concerned. It's the same thing when movie posters proudly boast that they are based on a true story. Why does it being based on a true story make it any good? Here's a true story for you. The other day, the battery in my car went flat while I was at work, so I had to call a mechanic out to recharge it and bump start the engine, which I then had to leave running for the rest of my shift. That's a true story. Are you going to make a movie about that? In fact, while we are on the subject, I'd just like to say that based on a true story isn't really the best phrase for movie producers to use. Inspired by a true story is a more fitting description. So if you are the type of person that throws up their arms in outrage any time a movie based on a true story changes something from reality, I think you need to understand that the filmmaker's main priority is still to tell an engaging and enjoyable story. And if doing that means straying from reality, so be it. Sure. Movies based on a true story can be completely faithful to reality, but I don't think it's required. As long as no one tries to pretend it's actually the true story, I don't see a problem. But anyway, back to The Lion King. The other odd thing about this is that there is also this odd controversy surrounding the film that it's based on a Japanese cartoon from the 60s called Kimba the White Lion. And just as with Hamlet, I can see a few similarities, but not nearly enough to say that it's actually based on it. It may have been inspired by Kimber the White Lion, but it's not based on it. But what I find really odd about this is that this is often used as a form of criticism of the film. People that don't like the film often bring this up as a reason why the film isn't good. Now, I don't know, maybe it's just one of those breach of copyright things, like the filmmakers didn't ask permission to use Kimber the White Lion, but even if they didn't, that doesn't change the film itself. It doesn't automatically make the film bad. It's just something that the makers of the film shouldn't have done. So if I'm to understand this right, the film being based on Hamlet makes it good, but the film being based on Kimber the White Lion makes it bad. Go figure.